Hello everyone and welcome back to Darren Augustus Plays. So it has been a while since I've been around. There have been many calamitous things that have happened. I had some surgery, but some good things also happened as well. Uh, I am now an engaged man. I am an honest man. A lovely woman has made a honest man of me. And she will be joining us here today because I am kind of on the men but she also wishes to get into the YouTube scene. You know, she wants to be one of those big influencers, you know, such great names like Markiplier and Markiplier. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, she would like to turn around and jump into this as well. So I thought, you know, hey, why not jump into this? We actually have played a game before. We played Unpacking. It's been on her channel that is, you know, very small. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, she's played Unpacking. I've also joined her for that. But she'll be joining us here for this game today called Back to the Dawn. So I actually saw this last year. I think it came out last year during the next fest on Steam. And it is a cute but also not cute game about cuddly little animals that have been imprisoned for various reasons and stuff like that. You know, kind of like real life. But um, but no. Uh, but yeah, it looks interesting. Um, it ha it has a kind of prison. Uh, I think it's called Prison Simulator. I think that's the game name. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but it has that kind of vibe to it as well. And it looks like it's gonna be kind of neat. I've seen one of the stories. I think there's one. Uh, well, we'll get into it when we actually jump into it. And also, let me introduce you to my fiance because I did say that she's going to be the one playing today. Nikki Nix, would you like to take it away? Sure, I can do that. Um, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am not the sole reason that Darren was away, but I'm happy to be able to bring him back. Oh. Um, and I'm really excited about the game today. Um, it looked pretty interesting. He told me about it, I looked mm. into it, and we decided we would play it today. Yes. I'm playing, I don't have the gaming prowess that he does, but um, I'm gonna do my very best for the channel and friends of the channel. Yeah, we already know, you know, my gaming prowess is quite great. All the times I've died on Fear and Hunger and various other games. So this should be a piece of cake, you know, this should be fine. It should be a walk in the park. So if you would be so kind, let's jump into it. Let's do it. Who would you like to play? So, so I, I do remember this from the original demo. Again, I don't know if this is the demo from last year, but I do know that they had the same two characters. So Fox Thomas is kind of the um, average character that everybody play as. I think Black Panther Bob, uh, oh, Bob, I think he's actually an informant. So he has higher stats and I think he's supposed to be an easier playthrough, whereas Thomas is supposed to be like your normal playthrough. So if you would be so kind, let's see what Thomas has going. Let's see what it says. Is it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we can just kind of look at what yeah. this stuff is. Uh, broadcast journalist. After graduating from college, you joined a television station as an intern and soon found your way in front of the camera. Thanks to your good looks, you were able to get first-hand stories from the mouths of even the most reluctant interviewees. However, your years of working in the public eye have also made you extremely self-conscious about your image positive ability you have plus one charisma with an extra 30 percent when raising rapport with others negative effect you can't shower without using soap. interesting okay you have initial specialty affinity only one focus point is consumed when befriending prisoners uh, you also have egghead two points when performing knowledge actions this goes up by an extra one for every three books you read so mm. let's go back and let's see what Bob has. Oh. Oh. So it's just Thomas. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we're ready to start? Uh, sure. You know, ready by all means. <laughs> if it's the law of the jungle in this city, then how are we any different from wild animals? Ha! <laughs> because it's animals. Dear viewers, I'm here at Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant at Skid Road. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odor. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. 
My thoughts? This damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago, and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. Wait, why aren't the fish like actual animals that's talking to? Okay, that's, I think we're going to get into some. Oh, okay, all right. It's messed up. Just smell the stench. So many kids are sick. They can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. Oh, Lord. That's pretty tough. And have you informed the authorities, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard that the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. The bastards are all in it together. This really speaks to my southern sensibilities. Does it? They see us poor people here as less than nothing. Viewers, is the tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage dumping? And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? Probably. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> we'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. You know, I have to say this is kind of funny because this really reminds me of Lake Tuscaloosa. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we missed it. Yes, we did. Okay, I think this one I actually hold up. But yeah, this this kind of reminds me of Lake Tuscaloosa, where it's like um, we, we have this lake in Tuscaloosa, of course, called Lake Tuscaloosa. The Black Boy River, excuse me, two different rivers. Forgot about that. But uh, it's there's a, a lot of chemical plants along the river. And for a long time, people have said, like, oh, you know, they're dumping everything into that water and stuff like that. It's not, you know, safe and things like that. And then the plants have always been like, oh, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with the water. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you have mist that, like, lingers over that area <laughs> where the plant is and stuff like that. Strange chemicals. There's even a big-ass board that's by one of the bridges that's between Northport and Tuscaloosa or whatever. And it's just like, oh, the air is fine. Why did you feel the need to point this out? I never thought about that mm -hmm. until then. But yeah, I'm pretty sure in 20 years, everybody's going to have cancer and die probably. I used to drive over that bridge when I worked in Tuscaloosa. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, it just looks so awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, should I be working down here? I feel like it's not safe. Yeah, like it's a normal summer day and it looks like Silent Hill in Tuscaloosa. Exactly. Okay, back to the game. Uh, I guess, oh, okay. Excellent interview. Your reputation is well-deserved. I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. <laughs> I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. The eraser? Oh, that's just baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. <laughs> well, let's get back to the point. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant. But the mayor wasn't aware of that fact. And no so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So, I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. Ooh. Mm. So, I'll find out the truth or I'm just doing my job. I just want to remind you that the literal beginning of this game has us looking at prison walls. So you're screwed one way or the other. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end up in prison. So, but I still want to, hmm, I, I'm going to do, I'll find out the truth. Interesting. I probably would have been corrupt. But uh, <laughs> what a good journalist. I admire your passion for your work. But there's more to life than work. Far more. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you're screwed. A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. Damn, cuz. I was doing my business. Dot, dot, dot. And no friends to speak of, other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. He's the one who has to clean up your mess. You've clearly done your research on me. You make a pretty good journalist yourself. Mm, what's not? 
compliment the man. He's clearly done your research on me. Was it complimentary? I, I think it was. I think it was snark. I love snark. Mm. Even though I'm probably gonna get beat up here in a second. <laughs> you flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Knuckles, the briefcase. Okay. This man got a guy named Knuckles working for him. Is that a rhino? Yep. Okay. It's 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 it sounds shady. Mm. What's this? Are you trying to buy me? You bet your ass I am. You got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter. Such a waste. I want to give you the eh, excuse me. I want to give you an opportunity. So will you join us or carry on with your thankless reporting? You're a smart fox. <laughs> I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Mm. Ooh, Take this, the money. No, the, the choice money. is clear, okay? I mean... We can't be working with shifty folks. We're, we're going to jail anyway. You're a fox. Okay, first of all, rude. I'm just saying, you're a fox rude. by your nature. I'm a fox with honor. Interesting. That is an oxymoron, but by all means, go ahead. I'm going to decline. Okay. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. <laughs> oh, how unfortunate. Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, you leave me no other choice. This is the police. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats. Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? Well, it is how I got the name. No way. You're the you're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. To prison. And I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. From prison. Rude. Take care. Have a nice day. You regret your foolishness. Really? Yeah. Immediately? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I'm Sergeant Norman. This is my precinct. Is this your car that we parked in front of? Yes. Is there a problem, officer? We received an anonymous tip that this car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Ow, check up front. Don't expect a dog named Cal. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. This is how you plant evidence. Huh? Sarge, I found it. He was hiding something. And it looks like grade A stuff. Hmm. Mmm. 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 I'll just go with the first one. It doesn't matter what we say at this point. Uh-huh, yeah. Wait, I don't know anything about that. Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. Book him, Tony. <laughs> so screwed. Yeah. And this dude watching from the window. What a great day. This calls for another drink. He tried to make you an offer you couldn't refuse. He's gonna get arrested anyway. Wow. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Today, Thomas the Fox, the prominent reporter for Woodpecker TV, was sentenced to three years in prison and fined fifty thousand dollars for illegal for possession of an illegal substance. He will serve his sentence at Boulderton Prison. Sources stated he is also suspected of bribing interviewees and fabricating fake news stories, among other violations. In the words of one city resident, "I'm very disappointed in him. I no longer believe any of his past reports." You see what they did there with Woodpecker TV. Yeah. I see it. Oh, I see God. it. The investigation into the contamination of Lame Leg River has finally brought the truth to light. The investigation team, jointly formed by City Hall and the Environmental Protection Agency, issued a statement which read. 
The incident was caused by a temporary worker who was drunk on the job. He accidentally poured chemicals down the drain, which resulted in minor contamination. The temporary worker in question has been fired. The investigation team has also allocated the Black Marsh Chemical Plant additional funds to assist in its cleanup activities in an effort to return a clear river to the public. I mean, honestly, they could have done that cover-up without arresting the fall. No, no, you had to arrest him. Me, myself, personally, you know, I am a fan of assassination. Oh, so man, you probably would have been assassinated. Car would have just randomly blew up in the middle of the city, and I would have just been sitting out there like, oh, no. Wow, you are so screwed. Oh, man. Like, the only person you could take is that giraffe. Possibly. I was going to say, I think it's a possum back here I could take. Is that a... Oh, yeah, maybe the possum and possibly the koala. Stand at attention. Listen, good fish. Oh, wait, what? Listen, good fish? Okay. <laughs> From now on, you're inmate 1220. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Mumbles. Yeah. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand. That's what I thought. <laughs> Good. Now get your ass to cell three and make it snappy. Click on the ground to move. Here it is, fish, your new home. But you said it was 1220. Before you go in, one last thing. Head count is in the lobby at eight o'clock. Better not be late. Goodness. Now get out of my sight. Alrighty, welcome to prison. Phew, that guy talks a lot. But now is not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction, and I still haven't met with Reed, my lawyer. Mm. I don't know how to appeal how the appeal is progressing. I need to contact him ASAP. I would assume that it's probably going not too well. Right. Ask the prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. New quest, the price of justice. Press L to view quest objective. Mm. The price of justice. You've been framed for reporting on a sewage violation at a chemical plant involving the mayor and now find yourself incarcerated at the maximum security boulders in prison. Jesus. Although the verdict has been reached, your lawyer friend Reed the Panda, Reed the Red Panda, is still trying to appeal. You need to get in touch with him as soon as possible to discuss the next steps. You must not stand for this miscarriage of justice. Ask your cellmate how to contact the outside. You know, I will say red pandas are really cute, so I have no faith in Reed. They are. What? Hi, I'm Thomas, your cellmate. Oh, that's you. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Oh, hi. I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam. My nickname's Ratchet. <laughs> I was a mechanic on the outside. Oh, okay. Get it? Sure. I'm a journalist. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. Yeah. Sam, is there a way to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course. This is a modern prison. You can write a letter, like me. Or, if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after head count, but there's usually a line. Mm -hmm. A phone. That's great news. I'll call after head count. So it looks like you got about an hour. Um, I do think that if you... I do remember certain parts from the demo, because I have watched other people play it. Um, I do think that it kind of costs some time if you sit there and wait, which mm -hmm. you use that time to do other things. Yeah. But, you know, again, this is purely up to you how you play it. So, yeah. Well, I'm going to go out. Oh, wait. Do I go directly to head count? I would probably search the room. You know, see if you can find a shiv or something like that, you know. You're right. And it's... I actually want to see if I can talk to... Yeah. Sam, you seem to have a great relationship with your girlfriend. I envy you. Of course. My Nicole's unique. And just to let you know, I get out on parole in two months. Mm-hmm. I'm going to marry her as soon as I get out. We've already set a date. Oh. More precisely, her mom set the date. Okay. But you know what mother, mothers-in-laws are like. Oh, boy, do I. 
So I need to make sure to keep my head down these days. If anything goes wrong with my parole, I'm sure I'll lose her. That's not foreshadowing at all. All right, that's not good. This girl's the only thing on his mind. My Nicole, my little lamb. <laughs> it feels like I'm going to faint just thinking about her. Is, is she actually a lamb? She probably is. Oh. Okay. You've befriended Sam the donkey. His rapport will help you. A donkey? A donkey who looks completely ordinary and exceptional. Wow. Okay? Wow. He plans to keep a low profile for the next two months so that his parole application can go through. According to him, his lovely and charming fiance Nicole, is waiting for him on the outside. They have a they have set a date for their wedding and everything is going as he hopes he does not want any surprises at this critical time i just want to point out that sam's number is 1911 which is a gun i wonder if that's foreshadowing along with the foreshadowing that this probably isn't going to turn out well yeah poor sam this table looks older than me but i guess beggars can't be choosers in this place Maybe I can use it as a simple workbench. Mm, Maybe. Crafting things. Okay, okay, okay. A toilet sink combo? It looks quite advanced. I hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's locked. Ugh. Should a toilet be in a sink? I mm. don't think it's... That's... Okay. Your toilet sink combo doesn't look pretty, but it gets the job done. Use the toilet. What happens to food after... <laughs> After you eat it, it gets digested, of course. Digestion will accumulate in your gut. Once it reaches two, you can empty it at any time by going to the toilet. But when it reaches 20, even the slightest fart could be dangerous. Wow. Okay. It's like that episode of the Magic School Bus when I realized this is poop. You know, this is... No. Okay. I see it down here. Okay. That's... Mm, okay. All right. That's pleasant. You have to control your bladder. Yeah. A storage cupboard. Looks I looks like I can have my own space. Something's missing, but I got it. There seems to be a piece of paper on top. Hmm. The prison schedule. This is exactly what I need right now. Okay. Cupboard. A small cupboard. You can store items inside. Contraband. Prison rules are very strict. The more dangerous something is, the higher its violation. Normal compartments. The cupboard's normal compartments can only store items with a violation of two or less. Otherwise, they'll be discovered. Hidden compartments. Don't worry, there are hidden places in the cupboard and other corners of the cell where items of high violation can safely be stored. So, a gun. Okay, I don't... I don't think. Surely we can get a gun. I, I don't think. Would animals create guns if they were human-like? Yes. <laughs> Looks like this rickety iron frame is my bed. The bottom bunk's been taken. I guess I'm on top. Bed. The bed is where you sleep, but of course it has other functions. Sleeping. You can go to bed after 2100 every night. Sleep restores your stamina. You have to get up at 7 sharp. Sleeping in is not allowed in prison. You can improve the quality of your sleep by making your bed. Prison is very cold at night. You'll definitely freeze without a blanket. Entertainment. You can also relax in bed if you have magazines or a handheld game. What do you mean? Magazines? Like, are you just reading or... Anyway. Um, what okay. do you mean? I'm just saying. It kind of... I, I, anyway. Um, is there anything else to look at? Oh, head count prep, 745. So you still got a few minutes. A little left. bit of time. Can you talk to the donkey? Yeah, I was going to see if I can do that, because I think that's the only thing, really. If we get offended with him, like, can we call him a jackass? Since a donkey is technically... Oh, my gosh. I, I don't want to um offend him. We're friends. Mm. Oh. Um, we don't have anything to trade or... or a gift to give so it did say you could write a letter i wonder how long that would take well i gotta get it looks like i have to get pen or pencil ah, ah let's see. can you craft a pen um let's see you can craft a lock pick a rope cloth uh well you can't craft any of that but these are things that you can't craft. yeah huh interesting medicine a paper crane improvised item what would you need a paper crane for is that just Kill time. For funsies? I sure. don't know. Funsies, sure. That's that's fine too. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, and you can plant stuff so you can set people up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, do you want to like maybe just poop and just get it out the way? I mean, your your bladder is yeah. full. Oh yeah, you can. I don't have a toothbrush, so yeah. Let's see. I don't feel anything yet. Maybe later. Why? Well, you know, you got a little bit in there, buddy. Yeah. You might want to, you know, pregame. You know, you don't want to just be walking well, around with that. You know what's gonna happen at head count? You know, might as well just get it out of the way. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and go to head count. All right then. Go to head count. I should go for head count. Yes, you should. Wow. Those antlers. Jesus. Looks like I made it in time. Attention! That's an old dog, too. <laughs> Settle down, all of you. The head count's starting. Counts heads. One, two, three... Hmm, that's 44 47. Three inmates are absent. Two in the infirmary and one in segregation. That's all. Listen up. Today's the first of the month, which means some more some more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you now. Do not try to stand out from the crowd. What's that mean? Try to be a smart ass in my domain and I'll show you no mercy. Now let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. Today's announcements. To enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments. There are still vacancies in the laundry room for now, so any new inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, someone else will. You sounded real cute. Not interested. We want higher wages. I'm not going to be your slave. I want to go to the kitchen. Yikes. Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. So uh, I wonder if, like, if enough people are opposed to something, will they kind of change things? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. But I would like to work in the laundry. Prison work? I do need some cash. I only have a few coins left in my pocket. But the top priority right now is to call Reed. Mm, where is... Oh, there's the phone. He's probably waiting to hear from me. Where's the phone? Uh, I think it's down there. Ah, with the butler. Yep. There you go. Give your lawyer Reed a call. Yep. Over chill. Oh, he's, he's into this conversation. Let's talk to him. Let's see what he's... Oh. Come on, it's been so long. Did you show my script to the director or not? <laughs> no. Working show what? show business. Stop. <laughs> what? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important this script is to me? Sir, you're in prison. <laughs> my entire comeback is riding on it. Because <laughs> his name is Rudolph. Oh my gosh. Seriously, can you just get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at rock bottom, so you were below that right now. <laughs> um, try to talk to him again. See if you can get him off the phone. Assault oh. him. Assault him immediately. But you can't. It's it's grayed out. And I, and I don't think that's the first thing we want to do in prison. Uh, well... I don't have a leg to stand on. Ha, is it because we're... Well, no, that's, he's a fox, so... <laughs> I'm going to go talk to, to, to Bruce about this job. At attention, what is it? Ask about work. What? You want to work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. And I have some good news. Right now you can apply to work in the laundry room without good conduct credits. This is a special privilege for new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form. Prison application. Now, I do think that there are, like, mini games associated with this. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to, I think it's going to be kind of like a rhythm game where you have to hit certain buttons. Oh, God. You should do great at this. Oh, God. Your application is approved. From now on, you can work in the laundry room. Got laundry room work permit. A work permit registered by Bruce. It will get you into the laundry room during working hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a great job, Fish. You'll love it. I don't. I don't. I fish. So how do I get there? Simple. 
See this fence gate? Maybe. Go out from there before lunch, and a guard will take you to your workplace on the other side of the corridor. But don't try any funny business. The work area is watched by snipers on the tower. Oh, Lord. Jesus. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? Seems a little excessive. Yeah. I mean, it is a maximum security prison, so. Um, cancel. I just want to see. You still on the phone? Yeah, he ain't getting off that anytime soon. This is, you know, uh, Johnny Cage, essentially. Oh, you can persuade him to. Oh, move. it's a chance. Mm. I don't have any money, so that's the only thing I can do. Hi, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you let me use the phone first? Oof. Oh, critical failure. Good Lord. Uh, you can use one focus point to re-roll. How many focus points do I have? You have five. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Target is seven. Mm. Good grief. And there there was a 58% chance Correct. of success Correct. before when I rolled, and there was a critical failure. Yes. I, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Do it. You know, this is a demo. Why not? Do it. Look at that. Oh, Look Lord. at that. Fine. That was finished anyway. I know you are. You want to get no script deal? It's <laughs> over for you, Rudolph. Let's make a call then. Oh, man. Was Rudolph on drugs because he has a red nose? Yeah, that's why his nose was red in the first place. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. He just didn't tell anybody, but right. they found out, and right. now he's in prison. Santa probably snitched. It was probably Santa. Mm -hmm. So he was like, I never should have gave you a chance. Yeah. I knew it. I feel like Santa is probably, you know... You're not on the up and up himself. But and we have ruined Christmas for everyone. That's another story. I, well, you know, I never had the whole Santa thing. Oh, yeah. You know, my, my mom was like, I bought these. Uh, How, no, I'm not going to do that. I bought into that. We even used to watch um, on uh, <laughs> James Span. They would have like the radar. Oh, my God. It was show when Rudolph was coming into the state. And I was like, oh, man, I got to hurry up and go to sleep. Do I hear them outside? That's so magical. That's it, so is. it is. It is. So now, we did watch. We watched all the movies. So I watched like the old like puppet looking Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer mm -hmm. movie. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Good times. <laughs> Welcome to the prison smartphone. Please enter your inmate number after the beep. Press pound to end the call smartphone i never expected this this place to be so modern enter one two two old pound connecting <laughs> doot, doot. hello inmate one two two zero you can make two more calls today you will be charged ten plus <laughs> oh a 90 dollars service charge will be added for your first call Jesus. I'm in here racking up charges. I knew it wouldn't be that simple. Hey, man, you better catch a pigeon. It seems this place is more shady than I thought. I don't, I don't. I think you have 50 bucks. From whence? <laughs> what was I supposed to get this money? Drugs. From whoops. Ooh, maybe if you would have took the bribe at the beginning. No, they probably would have caught because I feel like if you took the money, they still would have been been out there, but they would have been able to rack up more charges because where you get this briefcase of money from. I mean, you know, it's best not to question things. So then so then you wouldn't have got the money at all and you probably would have had more time. I mean, it's possible, but I mean, we're probably going to break out anyway. I mean, that's the plan. I need to find a way to get a hundred dollars as soon as possible. Well, I guess you gotta work, man. Yeah. And let's let's view the quest. Tell them about the gun line, boss. Time to make some money. You desperately need to call your lawyer, Reed. But the prison isn't making things easy. You're seriously short of cash and can't afford the hundred dollars you need to make the first phone call. Try to earn money either by working or by other means. You need to see Captain Bruce to apply for a job. I'm sure you haven't forgotten what his ugly mug looks like. Mm -hmm. I am ahead of the game because I already have a job. And second of all, I do not have an ugly mug. My mug is quite nice, thank you very much. It's a panda. Why why oh he's sweating. Okay, I guess let's I guess let's just go to work. He's sweating because he's a big panda. <laughs> you wanna work, inmate twelve twenty? Yeah, my work request has been approved. Hmm. You do have a work permit. 
but I can't find a health certificate for you here. Seriously? <laughs> Bruh. You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. You have to pass before you can work. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I guess I have to go to the infirmary first. <sighs> Pete's sakes. <laughs> According to the regulations, all new inmates must go to the infirmary for a physical. Inmate 1220, do you want to go now? The guard at the end of the corridor will escort you. Behave yourself. Well, alrighty then. Now, I think when it comes to some of the minigames, we might show it off the first time, but if it's kind of a time-consuming thing, we'll just skip through it and, you know, get you straight to the good juicy bits. You're here for a physical. The doc's in the consultation room. You can go in by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. Okay, I won't cause any trouble. Is that a sloth? It is. Infirmary, congratulations on making it to the infirmary. It may sound strange, but the infirmary is the best place in the whole prison. There's a beautiful doctor, soft beds, and a whole host of treasures in the pharmacy. Okay. Whatever your reason for coming to the infirmary, you can see the doctor once, so don't miss the opportunity. The doctor finishes work at 1730 every day, so don't come too late if you want to see her. Okay. So I guess I'm going over here. Ooh. Read the sign. Oh, that's it. Um, Examine the law. Examining the lock. This is an electronic lock. You need to know the code to open the door. Observing around. An intercom? It seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Mm. Answers intercom. Hello. How can I help you? A physical? Oh, come on in. I have some free time. You undergo a brief physical in the consultation room. Hi, I'm Beth. From the records, I see this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all inmates' ailments, big and small. Every day, I leave at 1730 sharp. I don't like overtime. Ain't that the truth. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, the guard brand will administer you drip your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. Okay, let's take a look at your test results. Well, first of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. But considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious diseases in here. What? Wait here. I'll just get it from the pharmacy. Ooh, her laptop. What should I do now? Get up. Do it. Free movement time. Interesting. Yeah, look around. Be nosy. This isn't a good time to take what's on the tray. But what can... Ooh, what's that, though? The drain looks pretty wide. Maybe it can be used to... But I guess such a complex route wouldn't be available to the demo. <laughs> nice. Search. Mm. Oh wait, you only got free. You only got three free movement time now. Uh, oh wait. Rubber gloves. So do I need to select one? Um, I think you should take the cloth because you could use that before. I think you could use it to make a rope. Okay. Uh, Oh, you weren't finished talking. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, go to the computer. Let's see what's on the computer. Maybe we can hack it or something. There might be some useful information on this computer. That, that's all the thoughts you had on it? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, her desktop is such a mess. Oh, you've got a 72% chance to search the computer. Okay. Do it. She'll be back soon. I'd better not sit here. I'll try again next time. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you still got a little bit more time. Yeah, maybe there's something else you can take. I don't know. Uh, 
Um, is there anything else to check? There's nothing else to check. I mean, I can go back over here and take some of the other stuff. You know what? Yeah, just go ahead and take the rubber gloves. Why not? Just why not? All right. Uh, we can wait for her now. Durability. Your weapons, tools, etc. will you lose durability after use. Some items are strong and durable, while some items break very easily. When durability is low, the item will become worn and its functionality will be reduced. There's also a risk of the item breaking if you continue using it after its durability has dropped to zero. Mm. Okay. But I mean, what you gonna use rubber gloves for exactly? Who knows? Gonna have to MacGyver some stuff. Mm. All right, I guess we'll sit and wait for her. Are you ready for your shot? Um, do I have something to say? Do you? Let's see. Small tall? Sure, it will help you relax. Did you know that the prison rules say I'm not allowed to talk to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I did not know that. So why are you talking to me? <laughs> because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you ever tried not speaking to anyone for a whole day? <sighs> Sometimes I wonder who the real prisoner is. Say, so why are you a prison doctor? I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her even stupider father. She wouldn't happen to be the mayor's daughter, would she? Uh, did the mayor's daughter work at the prison? Because I thought they said that they had a relative, but they worked at the plant or something like that. Well, they just talked about one relative. They didn't say how many relatives he had in total. Because mm. the son was the one who had shares in the plants. Mm. So I wonder if this is his daughter trying to cause trouble. Interesting thoughts and observations there. Family trouble. Let's leave it at that for now. Okay, here goes. Get shot. Here goes. This may hurt a little. And then he died. After receiving a shot in the arm, you leave the consultation room. Got health certificate. You have passed the physical at the infirmary and can now go to your workplace. And you actually do have enough time to turn around and go to it now. Okay. Do you want to talk to any people here? I mean, let's talk to the slot. Yeah. Fernando. Fernando. You calling me? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hi. You're new here, aren't you? That's right. I'm Fernando, the Anteater. Oh. I've been here what? five years. We were so wrong. As someone who knows a thing or two, let me give you a piece of advice. Danger lurks around every corner in this place. It's a prison, sir. <laughs> Especially for newcomers. It's best to have some medicine just in case. Thanks for letting me know. I was a surgeon before. Helping people is what I do. So why are you in prison? One more thing. It also means I get to work in the infirmary. I can get all sorts of good stuff, like alcohol and painkillers. Why, why are you starting off like this, Fernando? <laughs> There's a reason why you're here now. Mm -hmm. Come to me if you need any. We can discuss the price. Yep, there we go. Yep, there there it is. Mm -hmm. I thought he seemed too good to be true. You have befriended Fernando the Anteater. His rapport will help you. Will it? <laughs> An anteater with sharp claws. He worked as a surgeon before he was in prison. Because of his medical experience, he is given special permission to work in the prison infirmary. This allows him to lay his hands on various goodies. If you need medicine or rubbing alcohol, he's the one to see. He's also a panhandler. Okay. Go bother everybody to sleep. I will not. Who's who's? Oh, those are the two people that was mentioned before. Tim mm -hmm. and Walter. Mm. I kind of want to go search, but also, like, does it negatively impact me if I take too much time? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. I mean, he's right there. He is, but I don't think he's gonna care. Rubbing alcohol. I'm not going to take this. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> because he's right there, and that's his product. Is it his product? Uh, yeah, he's trying to sell it to me. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess so. 
is the soap his too? I mean, I should be able to wash my hands, right? Sure. I'll wash my hands. Okay. Oh, let's... Cool, the health went up. Yeah. All right, time is passing. Yeah, you, you need money. Because you're broke. We broke. You, you didn't have broke, to call, broke, call me out like that. Sir, inmate 1220 requesting re to return to Gen Pop. <laughs> we got real... Uh... <laughs> familiar well, real quick well you know you just kind of you, you get broken down real quick <laughs> apparently so okay can i go to work now jeez you should be able to go to work at the laundry room we broke 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 i broke we ain't got it is this the laundry room the washing machine is so loud let's see what work i can do Okay, what do we got going on here? That's a platypus, I think? That's an alligator. Yes. Is that a wolf I can smell? That's too bad. You can't even befriend him. Right, it's locked. locked. I I'm just going to leave. It's probably for the best. Yeah, talk to the little people. You, you're, you're closer to them. Hey, the last quarter earnings arrived this morning. You should have made a lot this time. Really? That's great. I was worried I wouldn't have enough money to buy any new games. But I owe you an apology. I thought you might be lying before. It's fine. I'll let the money speak for me. But I wouldn't spend the money on games if I were you. I'd strike while the iron's hot and reinvest. Are we gambling? For stocks? Wouldn't you want to have a nice little nest egg ready for you when you get out? When are you getting out? Buddy, take care of your money, and your money will take care of you. You're in prison, sir. Let us speak. Hi, buddy. Want to hear some good news? Good news? Ever heard of Treasure Island? The, the pirate book? Right. I've read the novel. No, the Treasure Island I'm talking about is one of the hottest investments right now. This is a scam. Goodness. This is a scam. Straight scam. This is Bernie Madoff. Listen. Last year, a shipping company discovered an island. Prospectors found that it has huge gold deposits. But the company didn't have any mining equipment and had to raise funds by selling bonds. You just had to invest a small amount, and when the gold was mined, you got a nice share of the profit. The bonds I bought last month have already tripled in value. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds too good to be true. Now for the good news I mentioned. The company is getting ready to issue a new batch of bonds to expand their mining operations. But only investors who bought this first batch can apply. Of course, I'm eligible. And to maximize the return, I'm trying to raise capital. So I propose that we each contribute half for an equal share of the return. How's that? How's that sound? like a scam it does it sounds like a scam don't hesitate if you want in i'll find if you don't want in i'll find someone else you've befriended taylor the platypus his rapport will help you a very friendly looking platypus he told you the story of how the treasure island investment project made him rich and coincidentally he's in jail mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and enthusiastically invited you to participate in his current plan to raise capital the way he describes it, it is a it is the key to untold wealth. Yeah, no, I don't trust this platypus. I'm just gonna go over here. I mean, I played him and I don't trust him. <laughs> An ironing board. Looks like this is a job in the laundry room. What exactly am I supposed to do? There might be some instructions on the wall. I'll take a look. The wall, you say? <laughs> yeah, the wall. <laughs> uh, maybe further back. All the way back. There are wheels on the bottom. It must have been moved here. Um, down? Um, let's not do that right now. Oh, wait, you did. I think the instructions are back there. Oh, okay. I hope I can push it. Time to roll that dice. Oh, you, oh yeah. Look at oh, yeah. Look at oh, yeah. That, that's a strong fox. Or is he a clever fox and he just kind of like 
maneuvered it because he has brain power. Mm hmm. Phew. That sure wasn't easy. Ironing board instructions. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Ironing board instructions. Workers must be proficient in the use of the iron. Take up the iron to start ironing and put it down to stop. The ironing times for the five types of clothing. Top, 11 minutes. Pants, 10 minutes. Vest, 9 minutes. Underpants, 8 minutes. Socks, 7 minutes. Not going to remember any of that. <laughs> the closer the actual ironing time is to the specified time, the more paid the worker will receive. In order to improve efficiency and reduce cost, each worker must finish ironing three items of clothing in succession before he can receive the salary. Note, the iron is fitted with an anti-theft alarm. If the iron is disconnected from the power cord, it will trigger the alarm. So use it with care. So shirts, pants, vests, underpants. Okay, it's like it's like the lower you go, the less time they need. But what does that mean in like game time? Does that mean that I have to press a button at a certain time? Like what does that mean exactly? I I, but I know there's many games. I see. I don't know. It, it, a panther just took our iron. Oof, that's tough. Did he? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's well, that might not be the one that we were gonna use. Is there a second yeah, one? Yeah. Okay, there's a second. Okay, let's see. Start ironing. First, get the clothes from the cart. Piece one is top. The ironing time is 11 minutes. Okay, tutorial tip, ironing. Wait, what? <laughs> Start. 11 minutes. You gotta time it just right. <laughs> oh. No, I don't want to make this. Oh, it was close. Oh, so you just kind of got to get a yeah. keyboard. That sucks. Oh, no. So does it run in like seconds? It, it I think it's kind of going in seconds. Okay. Piece two is a vest. Ironing time is nine minutes. Okay. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Close. Close. It was close. So close. Piece three is underpants. The ironing time is eight minutes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, okay. Seven forty-two. Seven forty-two. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. All done. Now I'll just wait to be paid. Twenty bucks. I don't get anything for the show. Oof, that's tough. That's tough. I mean, you were off by quite a bit. Okay, okay. But listen, it's still iron. Okay. Is it though? It's still iron. Oh, I can get some more. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's, let's do it again. Now to get to work. Piece one is socks. The ironing time is seven minutes. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, look yeah. at the perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry with the shot. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Piece two is vest. The ironing time is nine minutes. One. Two. Three. three four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh. It's also too early. It's also nine. So. Yeah, no, I know. It was early. Oh. I was early. Oh, okay. 11 minutes. Okay, let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof. Oof. Yeah. That's tough. I don't think you're getting any money for that. Oh. Oof, ten dollars. Oh, I got four dollars. So. You actually have enough money to make the call now. So the question is, do you want to continue until lunch and then maybe go ahead and make the call or do you want to just go and make the call now? Um, because I can't make the call after lunch, right? I can. I? I don't I don't think you can. OK, no, let's let's sure. let's try to make the call now. OK, because I've got one hundred twenty dollars. Yes. Give me give me my reward. Thank you. Money, 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 money. OK, let's get out. You don't want to talk to the alligator? <laughs> yeah, because you're too big for this. 
You gotta be gentle with it. You know, you're a crocodile, alligator. I'm not sure the difference between the yeah, two. Yeah, me either. I've, I've never known the difference. Okay, let's see if we can make a phone call. Oh, nobody's on the phone. Mm. Hello, inmate 1220. You can make two more calls today. <laughs> Insert 100. Jesus. All right. Connected. Phew. Looks like it worked. They confiscated my business card holder, but luckily I memorized Reed's office number. I'd be so screwed. Right? <laughs> and of course, there's also another number I can't forget. Maggie's. Who's Maggie? The girlfriend. Oh, that's so sweet. Who should I call? Not Maggie. <laughs> Reed's law firm is 64580. Shit. Dude, dude. Reads Law, your reliable litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally. I was worried something bad had happened. You're in jail. It's not that easy to call from here. So how are things going with the case? Well, I was just about to tell you. The appeal fell through. Yep. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal. But as you know, the mayoral election is in 21 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. Damn those sons of bitches. Jesus, language. <laughs> but don't lose heart. I have some good news. Good news? Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? I remember. It was a woman. She said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. If I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information. I know you've fallen for it a few times and gotten screwed out of a lot of money, but that one, but that one could be real. Remember where she wanted to meet you? A little bar called Baroness? Hmm, it rings a bell. My investigation has uncovered that the bar has some connection with the mayor, but I can't explain properly over the phone. We need to meet in person. Only, you may have to wait a few days. The prison said there are so many visit requests that all slots are full. And even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Shouldn't that be per person? I was just about to say, what's the constitution in this world? <laughs> so I just have to sit here twiddling my thumbs? I like the other one. When it rains, it pours. Yeah. I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there's a way to bypass the waiting list? Mm. Nah. It might be worth a try. What else have I got to do, right? Then we'll come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. You make sure you be careful in there. Disconnect them. If we can really get our hands on evidence of their crimes, this is no time to go down without a fight. So now I'll have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. Mm, so yes, updates. So things are getting a little interesting right now. So we're going to go ahead and stop it right there, you know, and then we'll kind of continue a little bit more. Like I said, in the future, when it comes to actually doing the mini games and stuff like that, if it takes up a lot of time, we'll just skip it and stuff like that. We don't want to waste anybody's time. But so far, this is looking very interesting. What do you think? Um, I am enjoying this. I, I think I want to play it once the full game is out. I'm enjoying the demo so far. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Okay. Also, you're starving, too. You need some food, too, when we start. Oh, like no. That. But it's almost lunchtime, so we'll get that settled, too. Anyway, if you like the video, like the video. If you would like to see more content like this, subscribe. I have a lot of things on the channel, you know, because I'm gone a lot. Um, and I also have plenty of things that I am planning in the future. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one. See ya.